Okay, so Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi 4 is definitely improving. Um, they've been, since my last video, uh, which it was running very slow on, but it was it was an early stage, uh, it's certainly got a lot faster. The previous video was running at 600 megahertz. If I now click on the settings and about, you can see that it's running at 1.5 gigahertz. Thanks to the newer bootloader, UEFI 1.7, so that's one update. Um, but also this image was uploaded by uh, Zanfix and uh, and it's definitely definitely running a lot faster for me although unfortunately I'm not getting any internet with this I've got a, a wired Ethernet adapter and it was working on the previous build but the previous build was really unstable uh, and really you couldn't do an awful lot with it but on this one you'll see that the menus are a lot quicker so all the settings and the menus and things tend to be a lot quicker this has been up and running for probably an hour uh, and it's it's not crashed and it and it does seem to be working nicely and you can see Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview uh, if I click on the files you can see that it's booting from this little micro SD this is a USB stick with Windows running on it and this is just one I've got for data um, so I've I've tried to I've tried a few different things on there. So music isn't working. There doesn't seem to be a music app because they've kept this as a light build. So if you try and play that, it uh, it doesn't play. Uh, photos don't seem to come up at the moment. But I did manage to install a game. Uh, unfortunately, it's not it's not running. Uh, so the game I installed was Elastomania, uh, and everything seemed to go all right. But when you try and boot it, it is a very old game and it comes up with some sort of graphic issue. Um, but I'm playing around to try and get more games on it. Because I haven't got internet, I'm having to download Windows EXE files and then put them on the system. But I'll try and do another video of it and get more things to work, if I can get things that are interesting to work. So Marsan was the one who sort of kicked it off the main uh, Twitter feed. And uh, there's uh, a setup guide on that an older setup guide which is the one I used in my previous video there's also a newer setup guide as well uh, which I haven't done all I did was downloaded this new uh, image from the sort of thread that I'll, I'll link all of this in the description so you can go and find it yourself uh, and you can install it so as you can see going through all of this actually runs at quite a nice rate and the settings and if you're searching for things so if I was to type in, uh, say, sound, sometimes I get the keyboard stick uh, where it will put loads of letters uh, all at once, but it seems to go away after a while. So there you go, apps, documents, web, more. So definitely looking good, uh, definitely getting a lot quicker. What we really need, obviously, and that everybody's working on this, uh, is uh, USB support native on the Pi, uh, the SD card to boot the whole system rather than having a boot and Windows on that as well but they are someone has said on the th on the thread that they have got it to boot from the one SD card uh, and they've also got this to work uh, with the full 4 gig but then it disables USB support so if you haven't got USB support you haven't got mouse control so so it's it's a work in progress but thanks very much to everybody who's doing the work it's just really interesting to have a look and see how it's getting on. Uh, I'll show you how it plugs in now because uh, it's a little bit confusing. It's not just a case of download an image. Uh, I'll, I'll show you the procedure of how you have to plug it in and what bits you need. So you will need a few extra things uh, which you might have already or you might not. Uh, in this case, uh, so this is a uh, Google Pixel phone charger which is basically a USB-C charger, 3 amp charger, so a reasonably powerful charger. I'm then using a USB-C to USB-A adapter which you can see there uh, and the grey cable is actually USB-A to micro USB so that goes into this uh, little USB hub. It's an on-the-go hub. There are others available like this but not everything works. Uh, with mine, I've got it set to number three on the setting. It's got various different configurations. And you can see that I've got the USB, which has got Windows on. This is what uh, it runs the operating system from. I've then got another USB going out into this powered hub. Uh, and so this has a separate cable powering the hub because I don't want it to take too much power away from the Pi uh, because we've only got a certain amount of Pi. And with this, I can have my 
wireless keyboard plugged into here and I can also plug another USB stick in so I can use that. So that's how I'm getting my data and my keyboard. This USB hub goes into the Pi and that's uh, it's actually a micro USB end on that and then I've put a USB-C adapter on it to be able to plug it into the Pi. So with all of this if I then plug in the USB-C adapter you'll see that a red light comes on the Pi but it's still not working. So what I have to do, and I'll get in close for this. Well, it's quite handy having a zoom on your phone. Uh, so if I unplug the USB-C and plug it back in again, it will then boot. Now I don't need the two times zoom. You'll see now that it's booting and it boots as normal. So I'm using the now this often happens where you get a device restart. Just let it restart a couple of times and it will get in and then it will boot and it will be stable. So this is with UEFI 1.7 as the boot drive uh, and then the Xanfix image that I've downloaded uh, and I'll put a link in the description. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.